then let's talk about the book that really changed his life and that is Hillbilly Elegy. Talk to us about what was in that book and what his career looked like then after. So at this point, it's 2016, um, JD and Usha have moved now to San Francisco. She started a career at a corporate firm. He's actually pivoting to tech, um, was looking for something different to do. Um, but he publishes Hillbilly Elegy, and it's this smash success, um, reportedly over 3 million copies sold across all uh, different platforms and varieties. Um, so really just an enormous uh, success for him. Made him a lot of money, as far as we can tell. We don't know exactly how much, but can, we, we think it made him quite a bit. Um, and it came out in the summer of 2016. This is right as Donald Trump was locking up the GOP nomination the first time. And a lot of people, Republicans and Democrats, but especially people who lived on the coast, were looking for like an explanation of how did this guy uh, come out of nowhere and how does he appeal so much to this like middle America and the white working class. And J.D. Vance, um, in coming out with this book, kind of became a, a more genteel spokesperson for the white working class. Think about it, you know, a guy who grew up as a member of the white working class, but then went to Yale Law School, married a daughter of immigrants. Um, you know, this is somebody who coastal liberals perhaps could relate to a little bit more, um, but could also talk about some of the issues that pe folks in middle America were facing, especially in the Appalachian region. So that was kind of how everything was framed for him. It ended up being an incredible success for him and it, it unlocked a lot of doors. He, uh, you know, pivoted eventually into venture capital um, got started at Peter Thiel's venture capital firm uh, right after that, and that was that was 2016. 